Hi everyone, welcome to Bat Thrift Crazy. I'm Joanne, and happy Father's Day to all of my dads out there. I know I've kind of been MIA for a while. I was in Scranton, Pennsylvania last week uh, taking care of uh, some family matters, but I am back and I have a thrift haul video to share with you today. While I was there, you know me, I did manage to get in some thrifting. I went to two estate sales, a flea market just as they were closing up, Goodwill and Salvation Army, which is literally right down the street from my sister's home. I went almost every day that I was there. And of course, I managed to pick up something from every place that I went to. Today, I'm going to share with you the things that I picked up at the two estate sales and from the flea market. And right over there is everyone's favorite, Lewis. I'm sure that you missed him. Right down here, you might see every once in a while her tail kind of flick in the, the camera, is my CC. Valerie is out somewhere, and Diesel is resting on the couch. So let me see. I think I'll get started first with the estate sale. I have one other item from the estate sale that I picked up, but for the life of me, I cannot find it. It is a vintage scarf. I have no idea where it is. It might still be in my truck. But the first thing that I picked up there was this little cat. And it's red clay cat. It's not signed on the bottom. I'm sorry for that shaking. That's Lewis on the table where the tripod is sitting. But the painting on him, I think, is just beautiful. Very, very well done. So I picked that little guy up. And then this I thought was pretty cool. I've never come across one of these before. This is from Adrian Picard. It is an umbrella and scarf set still in the box. So this is what would be considered new old stock. Now this was made in China, distributed by CVS. And even though it does have a barcode on it, I do believe this is vintage. I think it was 19, early 70s, like 1972 or so, that we started putting uh, barcodes on packaging. Uh, but I thought, I still, I still think this is a pretty cool piece and that somebody might be happy to pick that up and add to their vintage collection. And again, that scarf, I have no idea where it is. So that's like all I got there. Uh, did not do any filming there interesting is that this is the first estate sale or anything that I've ever gone to where they had me sign a waiver uh, that if I were I guess to fall and trip or something and injure myself in the home that they would I would not hold them liable for any injuries always something new right this was the flea market and I thought this was kind of funny it was about maybe one or two o'clock in the afternoon when I went to this flea market. And this flea market has been going on for years and years and years. It's at a very old drive-in theater that has been there forever, except they don't have the boxes that used to hang inside of your windows. I'm, I'm, some of you may not remember them, but they had boxes that hung inside of your window that the movie sound would come out of. Now you have to dial in your radio to a specific radio station. But again, about one o'clock or so in the afternoon and folks, I mean, it was almost completely cleared out. And the two gentlemen, I tried to stop. I think I only stopped at about two or three vendors because everyone was either gone or they most of their items were packed up. But these two gentlemen said, oh yes, when it gets hot, everybody packs up and leave, leaves. And I thought, oh my goodness, you folks don't know hot. It was, let's just say, in North Carolina hot, it was nowhere near hot. But anyway, I did manage to pick up a few things from them. Uh, this is from, oh my gosh, oh, Lennox. It does need to be cleaned up. Everything from these guys that I purchased needs to be cleaned up. But I thought this was a really, really pretty pink dish that I got. Almost reminds me of waves on an ocean. But it's a very light kind of a baby pink color. Um, there, 
is the signage on the bottom of it. And as you can see, there's the inside showing that it needs to be cleaned. But I thought this would be a very nice, I mean, you could put this in your bathroom with bath uh, bombs in it or uh, bath salts for your bath, you know, for your bathtub. You could put this on the side. I mean, I guess the possibilities that I'm saying for this are truly endless, but it was a very, very pretty piece. So I did pick that up, obviously. Oh. Oh dear, our friend Lewis has a crummy tummy. <laughs> this, I have no idea if this is a Fenton piece or not. If it is not signed, I don't know how to determine that. I just now noticed, should have been more observant. It does, oh, so it is the, uh, the little shoe. Just now noticed. See that it does have a pretty good chunk out of the toe portion of it and you can feel it uh, when you put your finger around it so I should have obviously I should have been more observant when I was there I'm, I will have to take a file and kind of smooth that out a bit and when I go to sell this it's going to have to be obviously an as is I'll mark on the tag and then I found, <clears throat> now I don't know if the Fenton hats come this large. Again, this has no markings on it that I could find, but I did pick that, uh, hopefully, Fenton hat up. <clears throat> and then picked up these two. Hold on. Uh, okay, I was looking to see if these were the same. I thought they were when I first picked them up, and then I'm wondering if one isn't larger than the other, a little bit taller. Let's see. Yes, I think they are. This one right here, I think it's just a tad taller than the other one, but they are the same design and all, and as you can see, they're dirty, dirty, dirty. They need to be cleaned up. I got these two from the same two gentlemen as well. So that's all that I picked up. Oh no, actually I picked up some more pieces from them too, but those are for the outside shade garden. So I want to, I want to do those in a separate kind of like a shade garden haul and <clears throat> keep those separated from this. Now, the other pieces that I want to show you were from another antique, or, I'm sorry, estate sale that I went to. Uh, this was a pretty cool house, which was in the thumbnail of the picture for this video. It ended up being the attic, second floor, first floor, and then a basement. And they had the ladies that were running the sale said, you gotta go into the basement, you gotta go into the basement. So of course, I listened, I went into the basement. And I have to say that most of the things that I picked up were in the basement. Um, this was the second day of the sale. I would love to have gone the first day because I really liked what I picked up on the second day, so I could just imagine the first day what they had there, and it was pretty crowded, uh, so there was no way that I was going to be doing any filming there. I've got a couple of apothecary jars. I don't see them very often out, so when I pick them up, I do pick them up. Um, this one here, I am going to pull off ah, this ribbon that's coming off of it but just that little one there. Then I found this really tall, large one here. Look at this one. This one is amazing, isn't it? That one is a great, great size. That's well over a foot tall. And that it has its lid. This one, no chips or anything on it, so I was very lucky on that one. Um, this found in the basement, and I think the smaller apothecary jar, I think I found in the kitchen, if I'm not mistaken. The larger one I found in the basement. This I definitely found in the basement. I thought this was a water pitcher and was not honestly sure if the top went with it or not. I love the handle on here, how they have it wrapped. Um, my sister thought that it was a teapot. Um, I guess you would put your transfer your tea into it afterwards. I'm not sure. What do you guys think?
water pitcher, teapot. I mean, I suppose you could use it for anything. Reason I was thinking it was a water pitcher was because of this. See how it has the, the exit here? This would keep the ice from getting plopping into your drink. That's, that was my thought. So let me know what your thoughts are. And don't forget, uh, do leave a comment in the comment section down below and let us all know what your favorite find was from this particular haul. <laughs> this little thing. I, this is not vintage. I don't care. I think he is adorable. Wait to see his face. Here he comes. Look at his face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? <gasps> I love him. A resin, some sort of resin. Now there is a faux succulent in it. I'm going to take the faux succulent out. I'll use that for something else though, but I just don't think the faux succulent goes in him. He needs something else. But oh my gosh, look at him. That is one happy cat, but he looks very mischievous. I mean, he's gotten, he's gotten into some kind of trouble. I'm just noticing now he actually... He's actually striped very subtly. He's got stripes in him, which I didn't see before. Uh, I'm looking for marking on the bottom. I'm really not even sure why, but I thought he was adorable. Pick that little, little one up. Uh, found this in the basement. Nice, heavy flower frog. I don't think I have ever found one like this before. And this is a pretty good size. It's, I'm going to guess it's probably close to four inches around. And, oh gosh, why did I not wear my glasses? Oh, I'm not even going to try. There's some kind of writing on the bottom of it. It's metal. It's not plastic. But that's pretty cool. I like that a lot, a lot. You could... If anybody collected, and people do collect vintage scissors, this would be a really, really cool way to display vintage scissors. You know, with this, the scissors down. That, I like that idea. Then the last things that I have to show you, I've got it picked up a little bit of mercury glass, or not mercury, uranium glass. Found these four custard dishes, bowls. Again, dirty, dirty, dirty. They had some more there, and they're all in perfect condition. Um, no markings or anything on the bottom of them, but they're all in perfect uh, condition. They had a lot of um, plates, smaller plates. I didn't pick up any of those. They were all priced at $5, the plates, and I wasn't sure that there was any interest in uranium plates. Um, if there is, let me know, uh, because if I come across them again in the future, I will pick them up. Um, but I did leave those behind, and there was one, I'm not sure if it was a, the bottom of a creamer or a sugar bowl, but the matching mate to it was not there, so I left that behind too. So that was it. This was a small haul, but I am really happy with what I picked up. Uh, and, and there is more to come, but like I said, it's going to be in the Shade Garden uh, Hall. My favorite of the things that I picked up here, it's going to be this cat. <laughs> because he's, yeah, it's that face. That face just got me. I love him. Love him, love him. Um, so, in the description, in the, in the comment section down below, let everybody know what your favorite find was. And just to let you know, I do have more videos coming up from when I went to Pennsylvania. I uh, have some videos coming on the Shade Garden. I've had no actual progress on the Shade Garden because I haven't been around. But I do uh, have some video to show you of some things that I did, did <laughs> that I did pick up for it. And I brought back a ton of plants for the garden. And I have uh, a video for uh, the Goodwill that I went to and for the Salvation Army that I went to multiple times. And I also went to a Goodwill outlet in 
um, Reading, Pennsylvania while I was there too. So I have another three videos, three, maybe four or so coming from that particular trip up to Pennsylvania. So uh, if you're not already subscribed and you don't want to miss those upcoming videos, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and all notifications so you don't miss the ones that are coming. And for everybody that stuck it out until my return, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And again, if you know folks that enjoy thrift haul videos, go ahead and share this with them. And again, happy Father's Day to all my dads out there. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in my next video. And until then, everybody, you know what to do. Take very, very good care of yourselves. Bye for now, everyone.